What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello to you. In today's video, I will be showing you the makeover process for my toddler's bedroom. Now this is going to be part one. There will be a part two, but stay tuned to the end to see everything that I've done so far. If you are new here, this in particular bed is my eldest son bed. I have decided to refurbish this bed and make it something new of course I have to take it apart to do so so in this clip you'll see me taking it apart and I'm just gonna just be straight up with you all I, I put this bed together when we moved in and had no issues but taking it apart I don't know if I just forgot what I was doing or what but I was struggling I did not want to go with this red color in Carter's room. The theme of his room is dinosaurs, so I wanted to give that safari type look. So I am going to spray paint this bed a forest green. I wish I had more clips than this, however, Brandon broke my tripod the day of this video, so I could not capture the entire process of me spray painting the bed. I used a total of six cans of forest green spray paint, and it took me about a day or so to finish the whole thing. Um, that was just because I did not have a lot of room to work with, so I had about two pieces out on my back porch and then I waited the next day to bring the other two. I would have done it outside but it was raining and I was on a time crunch. I wanted to do it while Carter was not home. I also found these stickers at the Dollar Tree. When I show you a full view of this room in part two, uh, you may not see these anymore because Carter did pull them off the wall the ones that he can reach so don't be looking for that in the next video I probably think of something else to do on this wall but I wanted to have like somewhat of an accent wall so that's why I used the stickers and I used a total of I believe five packs to cover the whole entire wall right here So if you have paid attention in my other videos, just me being around the house, you'll see that I have no curtains up at all. So this will be my first time putting up curtains. I found some curtains at Walmart that were the forest green that I was looking for. So I went ahead and installed them to the best of my abilities.
the best way to do it so that Brandon is not sleeping on the floor or just on a mattress. I think that's just how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to share with him for, you know, for however long because I don't know how long it's going to take Brandon to get his bed after um, I submit the order. Well, the order has been placed when I make the last payment. So I had an idea of how I wanted to set up everything in his room. However, I did not think that I was going to have the crib in the room uh, when I first decided that I was going to put the bed in this room. So uh, during this time, I was just trying to map out in my mind how I was going to have it set up because I didn't want the crib to be so close to that bed because you know how Carter and Brandon is. They need a little bit of space. So I moved the crib into the far corner by the other window. As you all can see the finished product as far as me spray painting the bed I love it I didn't want to go with anything glossy I wanted to have like that matte finish so um, it could have that authentic green Jeep look and y'all I love it so much comment down below if you like it the green color or the original red color I purchased the comforter set from Walmart. It was a bed in a bag, so it came with everything that I needed as far as um, the bed was concerned, and it was for a pretty good price. I want to say I spent $28 on it. Uh, definitely not bad for a bed in a bag.
from the Dollar Tree, I purchased these 8x10 picture frames to place his uh, dinosaur uh, pictures that I purchased from Amazon. I hope you all are enjoying part one of my toddler Carter's room makeover. Please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video, and especially my part two of his room tour. I will be posting that really soon. Once Brandon Bed arrives, I will be able to complete Carter's room. So again, I hope you all enjoyed and if you have not yet hit that thumbs up button go ahead and do so and as always be blessed and nothing less and I'll be back with another video. Bye!